This is the WWE SmackDown March 1, 2024 full show results video which takes place at Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. The Bloodline make their entrance, and Roman gets on the mic and asks Glendale, Arizona to acknowledge him and says it used to be louder. He figures maybe he got the location wrong and asks Phoenix to acknowledge him instead and it's a little louder but Rocky chants erupt. He asks Paulie to fire up the jet because they're done and Heyman holds him off saying they have some other business and they can't leave yet and Paul gives Dwayne The Rock Johnson a superlative introduction while Roman seeds. The Rock's music is playing and he slowly strides out and into the ring and Rock says he did some research and this is a true fact, Phoenix, Arizona is the number one city in the US for meth and cocaine use. He calls Cody out for calling him out and trying to go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One, and his answer to Cody's challenge is no, you think you can fight The Rock just because you want to? Hell no, everyone wants to fight The Rock, including every woman in this arena. Cody doesn't get a singles, but Rock makes the night one tag team match we've all been waiting for, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins vs The Rock and Roman Reigns. But it won't just be a regular tag match, no, if the babyfaces win on night one, Cody's title shot will be free of the bloodline, gone, barred from ringside. They'll sign a contract and they'll have their word, if the babyface team wins night one, Cody gets a fair shot to finish his story. But when The Rock and Roman win in the tag match on night one, then on night two, the title match will be bloodline rules, anything goes, The Rock might call the match, maybe Jimmy is the referee, maybe Paul brings a foreign object, maybe Solo sings the national anthem, or maybe bloodline rules means The Rock will bash Cody's brains in with a steel chair. And so he and the walking clown show Seth Rollins have a lot to think about and they'll meet next week face to face for an answer. He talks about how he sits on the board and that means he's Cody's boss and there ain't no general manager or vice president to get in his way. And if Rhodes doesn't accept the challenge, then he's going to end Cody's story in tragedy. He does if you smell but Roman stops him short, grabbing his microphone arm with a sour look on his face and he tells Rock he needs something from him, he'll do anything for his family, but he needs one thing, he needs Dwayne to acknowledge him. The Rock holds for a long beat as Roman stares at him, before taking his sunglasses off and solemnly saying Roman is his family and he acknowledges him as his tribal chief. They embrace as you sold out chants ring out, Dwayne says this is family and they'll do anything for family, and the crowd should go home and smoke some more crack. He does if you smell and Roman finishes it for him before everyone throws their ones up. Then we saw a match between Naomi versus Tiffany Stratton, and the result of this match was Tiffany Stratton defeated Naomi by pinfall with the prettiest moonsault ever. The next match happened between Bailey and Dakota Kai versus Kabuki Warriors, and the match ended in a no contest when Dakota Kai shocked the world by betraying Bailey. Back in the ring damage control started beating Bailey, including Dakota Kai, and Sane and Asuka hold Bailey while Kai slaps her. Sky knees Bailey in the back of the head and Sky mocks Bailey with the title as she is laid out in the ring. Back from the commercial, Damage Control are walking and laughing when LA Nightstorms passed with his chair and they run into Jade Cargill and Nick Aldis pops up and says he'll deal with Damage Control later. The next match happened between Braun Breaker vs Zayon Quinn, and the result of this match was Braun Breaker defeated Zayon Quinn by pinfall with a spear. Then we saw a street fight between Carlito vs Santos Escobar, and the result of this match was Carlito defeated Santos Escobar by pinfall when Rey Mysterio returned and distracted Santos Escobar and then Carlito hit a spinebuster through a table for the three. Back from the commercial, New Catch Republic asks Nick Aldis for a WrestleMania tag title shot and he's sympathetic and says he and Adam Pearce have been working on the tag titles and WrestleMania might be an ask but they'll have an announcement soon. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between Austin Theory vs Randy Orton, and the result of this match was Randy Orton defeated Austin Theory by pinfall with the RKO. Post-match, Kevin Owens tries to even the odds but the heels get the better of him, stunner on Theory, Waller blocks one but eats the RKO and that turns the tides for the babyfaces. They stand tall together, and the show goes off the air.